good evening doctors myself dr himan sharma and today i am going to explain you about right ventricle and left ventricular hypertrophy ecg interpretation but today i am going to uh, show you the ecg about left ventricular hypertrophy see what was happen normally uh, the uh, in v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 ventricles so uh, normally the r wave is smaller then s wave is deeper then r wave is little bigger then s wave is little smaller then v3 is more higher r then v4 more then v5 more then v6 is more tall but in case c s depressed from s smaller 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 and less smaller in its normal physiology but what was going to be happen in case of left ventricle hypertrophy and right ventricle hypertrophy we see the diagnostic criteria in case of left ventricle hypertrophy i am going to explain you by the help of this graph okay see the ecg yeah i will show you in that manner avl avl it's uh, nearly i am going to show here in this book see avl visible this avl is more than 11 in case of uh, li uh, right ventricle so we see the small boxes like this and this 10 and this is more so here if we are going to see avl here visible see large box 1 2 and little one box here okay so it is more than 11 avl in this lead and in uh, v1 and v2 lead we see v1 or any v2 so s wave uh, and plus r wave in v5 or v6 it must be more than 35 c here we see the deep s wave how many large boxes 1 2 3 and more so it is nearly 16 18 in v1 so we need to plus with v6 v6 1 2 3 4 and 4 20 it's nearly 36 so v1 plus v5 v6 it's more than 35 so it uh, and avl we see here so this criteria is matching here so that's why this we diagnose the left ventricle hypertrophy this ecg shows the left ventricle hypertrophy avl c till here small boxes more than 11 it's avl and in case of v1 it's uh, nearly 16 it's nearly 20 so 20 plus 16 is 36 more than 35 v1 plus v6 or we can check v2 plus v5 so this shows the left ventricle hypertrophy my dear friends on ecg and see what was going to be happen uh, this uh, lead this is v1 this is r this is q this is r this is d pass and then and here it's a q this is uh, larger r in v6 and uh, as here but in case of uh, how we remember l l l v x so we are going to see in left ventricle hypertrophy but avr we are going to see in right ventricle hypertrophy r and r so avr here the capital r must be more than 5 mm it represent the right ventricle hypertrophy and but in case of v1 here we see in left ventricle hypertrophy s wave we see here r wave in v1 r wave in v1 c r wave c the larger is pathologically abnormal in case of right ventricle hypertrophy v1 or v2 any Uh, and uh, uh, s wave in the v5 and v6 if uh, r plus s is uh, together combines to form more than 2 mm this is known as a right ventricle hypertrophy so i already explain about the ecg point of view hypertrophy left ventricle i tried here to show you more uh, about the ecg so now i am going to explain you why this causes of left ventricle hypertrophy and right ventricle hypertrophy left ventricle hypertrophy we see left ventricle this is left ventricle and this is what left atrium the blood came here from pulmonary uh, vein then drain into left atrium then there is a mitral uh, wall uh, here it's mitral wall if there is mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation the pressure here increases in the left ventricle so it causes the left ventricle hypertrophy or somewhat uh, here it's aortic wall if uh, there is stenosis of aorta or maybe there is aortic regurgitation pressure back pressure increased so that's why left ventricular hypertrophy occurs or in case of hcm hypertrophic cardiomyopathy there is left ventricle hypertrophy 
or what in cases like coarctation of aorta when there is aorta uh, there is a coarctation like this way and it causes the back pressure in left ventricle that's why left ventricular hypertrophy occurs and in right ventricle what was going to be happen i'm going to explain further in my next video right ventricle also same concept there is a tricuspid valve <laughs> and pulmonary valve if there is a tricuspid regurgitation or tricuspid stenosis or we can say pulmonary stenosis valve or pulmonary regurgitations or we can say tetralogy of fallot there is a right ventricle hypertrophy okay my dear friends i already in case of vision manger syndrome also there is right ventricle hypertrophy but my aim not to teach you about everything about left ventricle hypertrophy and right ventricle hypertrophy my aim here is to explain you the ecg on ecg how you are going to diagnose this and i already finally i am going to explain you again here see uh, in avl avl here it's more than 11 mm and in case of we see the deep s wave in uh, v1 and uh, larger r wave and is this plus this is equal to more than 36 35 uh, uh, here it's more than 36 so we are going to put diagnose here left ventricle hypertrophy so my dear friends thank you thank you for today and have a good day nice day take care and i am coming with new topic on ecg goodbye